<laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm Father Tom Baker here at St. Aidan's Episcopal Church, Rector. We come here every Wednesday for noonday prayer. I'm also in the middle of the, the Council of Trustees meeting. So two things at once. We come here every Wednesday, remind us that in the middle of the week, in the middle of the day, God is in the middle of our lives. The Book of Common Prayer has noonday prayer on page 103. The link to noonday prayer is also right above me. So let us begin. O oh God, make haste, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Today we will say Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills from where is my help to come. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved. The Lord watches over you and will not fall asleep. Behold, the Lord keep his watch over Israel. Thou shalt neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. So the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is the Lord who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch your going out and your coming in from this time forth and evermore. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our reading today is from the letter to the Romans. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray together the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. God of us all, send your spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our affliction, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Invite your intentions now. Either lift up your intentions to God, or you may put a prayer intention in the comment section. We pray for our diocese, our bishop, and all clergy and lay. We pray for those who are sick and those who care for them. We pray for all children at school and teachers. We pray for all those traveling. We pray for family and friends who show us the love of God. Pray for those who have no one, the least, the last, and the lost. Pray for those struggling with addictions. Pray for the hungry, the homeless. pray for Miriam. May she rest in peace. We pray for Janie for healing. Pray for Mary Ann for, to rest in peace and for her family to have comfort. For these and all our prayers, we give thanks to God. We hope to see you on East Sunday at 10 o'clock at St. Aidan's. We gather together in person. We do wear masks. Also, 
Adult Forum will be starting very soon and we'll be looking at the way of love. Hope you have a great rest of the week. May God bless us all.